This is a little video about um, different types of soil and soil structure. So this is a, a very large area at Cheadle College. We've purposely done it this way without permanent paths um, so that we have a contrast between this area and then you can see in the distance there we've got our uh, bed system there which is a um, way to manage your soil so that the the beds are no wider than 1.5 meters and the RHS says no longer than three meters I think that's mainly because people are just lazy and they'll walk over the soil if they're any longer than three meters it's the width that's important so that you can reach into the middle so that's the bed system you can have any shapes it's the measurements that are important often they they look like a load of graves side by side and this is more of the sort of the typical allotment system where gardeners will throw a board down to work from when they're digging the soil or planting or sowing um, but as you can see it would be tricky to know where you planted things the year before if you were going to do a rotation now this soil here is absolutely thick solid clay and last year during lockdown we uh, we tried to improve it we did some rough digging i think the students did some rough digging in the autumn actually when we were back in um, and we, we left that for the elements to break it down and then they've done their secondary cultivation breaking it up further with a fork and a rake and it's looking pretty good and the good thing about a clay soil is it's very fertile and it will hold on to the moisture once you've got a good structure rather than great big solid lumps which it often is when it's a clay so this will be planted up things sown in it very soon in April but it's still pretty cold so we're just holding on for a minute we did put in some onions or leeks are they let's see onions if it's a round leaf it's onions if it's a flat leaf it's leeks so I wanted to just quickly show you this too which is a raised bed that we put in recently and we got we bought some soil which was delivered and it's really really silty and what's happened here is a good example of surface capping it's it's absolutely rock hard i have to really scrape hard to um, break up that crust there's a few weeds that have managed to uh, grow in there but not not a lot considering that's you know quite a lot of bare soil you'd normally have more weeds than that even the weeds are struggling and the poor lavender which were very small cuttings will also be struggling because they could be actually suffering from lack of water because the crust prevents water penetrating downwards because it's, it's just rock solid and it does feel when you scrape away it is really really dry under there although to be fair we haven't had any rain for quite a while so with that cracking seedlings can't push upwards water cannot push downwards so it's just a really bad structure and if it's a silty soil what the reason why you can see this sort of like a sand on the top is that all the silt particles have washed downwards in between the large pore spaces of the sand so then all you're left with is more a, more of a sandy top layer but because everything's kind of washed downwards and all the gaps have been filled so that's why you get this solid crust so what is the solution well we were sowing seeds we had some compost left over that uh, we'd we spent compost so i just got my trowel i broke up the surface with the hand trowel and i've just sprinkled on a little bit of organic matter but that just that little layer there will do will do a lot of good it will just protect the surface and hopefully we'll start to get some worms in here there's hardly any worms in here either maybe that's because it was stored badly um, before it came to us um, but there's no hardly any organic matter in it so there's no food for worms so that's why there's no worms so this will gradually be improved this spring and hopefully we'll have some lovely 
flowering lavender but at the moment we're just trying to plant all our deliveries we've got some new trees just planted that tree there and we've been picking out all our seedlings and growing things on so hopefully uh, I'll post a video with this looking a lot better soon and that's it soils